An ideal just energy transition, by definition, has to be inclusive. The justice part of this means that everyone who is consuming energy and is part of this transition has the opportunity to make the change. The perspectives that are missing in the just energy transition movement are the workers, frontline communities. It has to be justice for the communities that are involved, justice for everyone around there so that as we transition, no one is harmed, no one is left behind. It has to be asymmetrical and focused on communities and entities and organizations that we normally don't think of. We often neglect the perspective of indigenous communities. Intersectional women, poor women, workers, people who don't have the privilege to occupy the spaces that we're in always need to be called to the table. We are talking about the local communities, we are talking about indigenous people, we are talking about women and children. We are not taking their opinion on for the plans, for the investment decisions. We invite them to the room sometimes just to take a beautiful picture, but when we look to the contracts, their perspectives are not there. We need institutions, we need the private sector, we need everybody engaged in this. Ultimately, this transition involves a huge amount of collaboration, almost complete integration of the private sector, the public sector, and the communities.